Well, good day there, boys and girls. She's a real beauty of a day here today at the off-grid cabin, off-grid homestead here. So I, uh, I mostly went over there, did quite a, su quite a supplies run there, and you can see I got the 12 valve right, right packed here, and uh, it's kind of one of them days, though, boys. Like I was all over across the countryside, grab supplies, and now I gotta come all the way across the countryside and grab more stuff that I couldn't get and that I forgot. So it's just one of those days. Uh, it's already 2.30 here, and uh, yeah, so it's not looking too hot, I, I tell you what, we've got another two hours of driving here by Luxembourg, but uh, I got lots of stuff here for the workshop, it's over there you can see her, so uh, we got lots to do here in this video, I'm not sure how it's all gonna go, but it'll be good fun there anyway, so it's, it's gonna be great, this has happened just an ideal time, get everything in one place here at the workshop, because I'm just all over the countryside here with all my stuff. It's just it's just a mess. So well here she be in all her glory, man. Is she gorgeous, eh? Holy. <laughs> so we're just we're just uh, unloading all our stuff here. So I'll set you up in the tripod or whatever. So I uh I wanted to get the roof on there straight away and I wanted to put tin on it. So I just went and I figured I'd just pick it right up, but I gotta wait a week, it's gotta get ordered in, so that, that that's an is what it is. It's a bit too bad because uh, I really wanted to get that, you know, just on there straight away and then, you know, not worry about anything getting wet in there or anything. And, uh, but it didn't quite work out that way. So that's too bad. You know, it's an is what it is, but I got plenty to do here in the meantime, but a week, I nearly wanted to be done by then. So. We'll see how she goes. Oh, that's loose. That's great. I am so grateful that this all worked out with this building and being able to restore it and, and just the way we're doing things here. Because the price of lumber just through the roof. It's ridiculous. unbelievably high like you don't even want to know you don't even want to know what I had to pay for this stuff you don't it's unreal so that's what I'm trying to do as little as possible you know just get things functional and then mosey on so these are two by six by eight I figured I would need them for my door framing other thing I got to pick up uh, I didn't want to drag the door across the countryside because it's got a window in it and I forgot the charger for the battery drill, as well as, and I got some mail there today, so that might be useful to me. I don't know, so we'll see how it goes. It sucks, like today is nearly a waste of a day, but what can you do? So these are one by six, by 16s. I wanna put them on straight away. And they are for, uh, the, I wanted to replace the bottom boards on the roof, which are about, probably about 15 feet so I'll put them on there that'll be good and then what I'm gonna do here is just build a I'm going to build a floor frame and set it on top of the old old floor so it's 14 by 12 and I had to I had to put a pretty penny into her I tell you what but I figure I just have to do it have to do it now be better to do it so uh, more on that later. Uh, like the last thing I'm gonna do here is put insulation on it. I better get her off. The last thing I'm gonna do here is put insulation on it. But there was a sale on insulation. You buy every 250 bucks, you get a $50 gift card. So there's about $500 worth of insulation here. It's pretty pricey, but it's uh, the perfect amount to do the entire thing. And I got a $100 gift card, which I'll use on this structure as well. So, I have R20 and R12, two by four, 24 inch centers. Now, I got two by four and two by six walls in there. I'm happy that there's two by six but it kind of sucks that there's two by four rafters just for the insulation and I don't want to put foam, but more on that later as well. So 
So seven bags, four R12, three R20. And it should be damn well, pretty damn close enough, but we'll see how she goes. I'm not so sure. I did my calculations. I might be a tad short on R20, but I have plenty of uh, R12 because I had to buy just a little bit more just, uh, to get uh, the second gift card. So that's why we're doing this. So I'm gonna have to put them in the granary. You don't want that to get rained on. Yeah, it is too damn bad that we didn't. It is too damn bad that we weren't able to get that tin roof on right away, but you know, it's late in the fall here. She's freezing up. We. I was just gonna say we shouldn't get any rain. It's spitting here now. Bye. So here's my vapor barrier. It's eight foot. I just bought this stuff so I have it ready to go. Fuck it. That'll work. So I'll have to put all this stuff inside the granary so it doesn't it doesn't get moisture on it or as much. Oh you can't even see me. Well that didn't go according to plan. But I got all the lumber. Oh Jesus Murphy, it's dark out. <laughs> So I got all the lumber here ready to go for the floor. These are proper two by eights, like true two by eights. Hey, they're thicker and they're good to go. So we're gonna use them on the floor. My door is under there somewhere as well and uh, all kinds of stuff. So uh, yeah, that didn't go too good. It was not a very productive day, but we're organized here now to rip for, you know, quite a few days. So we'll get a fire going, have dinner and then uh, get ripping there tomorrow. Okay, we're finally giving her shit here. See, these are my boards. Now I'm gonna use these on my floor and they're beauties because I'm not paying lumber tax on them. So that's great. Now, before I get too far ahead of myself, like there's very little needs to be done here structurally before she's just a beautiful structure for a very long time. You know, I got very few complaints about how this here is built. You know, it's good and sturdy. These studs are in good shape, you know, but this is a problem and uh, for friends who didn't watch last video or new friends or what have you see this is broken now they're broken on both sides this one's not bad at all but they're broken because they uh they use the windows left open they rot so this is our priority this is the worst spot here we got to figure out so i'm gonna cut these braces off with the chainsaw because they're restricting us from pulling her straight now I was just gonna cut them so I can pry them off. Now, I wanna double up these top plates because they should have been doubled up in the first place. So I'm gonna have to cut an inch and a half off these, which is gonna be a prick because I'm just gonna do it with the chainsaw because there's gonna be nails in there that I can't get out because the studs are directly on top of it. So I'm gonna cut her through some nails with my pulling pro. Thank goodness I have that little saw there that's, you know, just fucked, so and I can cut them out, not worry about the nails one bit. I'm gonna leave this beam in for now. It's gonna be in the road when you see what we do with the floor. I'm gonna pull that wall straight so that uh, we can get her get her good because if we get that fixed and this fixed and I'll frame out my door here too probably and then work on the floor like we're, we're real set here. So let's get out of it. Okay. So these are pretty well useless to me. You know, uh, they're just one inch lumber and they're they're just real rough and rowdy there. So I'm not too worried about saving them or anything. We'll see if we can, this saw is just a nightmare. <laughs> well, anyway. Try out my new skill saw, but there's I don't want to find a nail 
with the cutting through this shit with my new skill saw, but. So these just pull out like butter. And then, uh. Stud though, I guess, eh? Hey? Quite right. I might add a board here to help get that real nice, but. And then I'm gonna pull these off. I'm gonna put a board across here so we can pull her straight. This is finicky to get this cut good with the chainsaw because she doesn't cut worth a shit. We're gonna be cutting through nails. Then we're going to have to measure make sure we have everything lined up straight again. See, there's a lean in there, there now. Okay, so, um, I'm going to pull this wall straight. See, I tried to put a board here and go the whole distance, but there's such a bow to it. And just this side is real bad. See, I had to drive these all the way home, but there's still a gap there because it's, it's really just this spot right here. So... I'm just gonna put these ones in, but leave them so I can pull them and then I'll be able to get that out, no problem. We'll see how this goes. It really shouldn't take much to pull it, but I want this one to come with it. I don't know. We'll see how she goes. So, and then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna boom her over to the beam. It, it really shouldn't take much. Getting there. Oh, that beam wants to flex like crazy. I'm not getting this. It's going to be a bit of a prick. Okay, so I've pulled it some here. You see they're starting to line up a little better. Check the outside as well. But um, it doesn't want to... Hey, I've straightened that. Yeah, you bet I have a decent little chunk as well. But, you know, it's all nailed in there. It's not pulling quite as nice as when I, after I cut that out. Oh yeah, boys, like she's quite a bit straighter. See, she's still pushed out here just in the center, but she's looking pretty good. So actually what I'll do here is cut it out and then it'll pull easier. Maybe I should have started with that, but you know, uh, it'll pull easier once I cut these out. And then the the big thing here is that uh, I guess it's not gonna fall over when I cut out that top plate, but it shouldn't anyway. But you know, it's all nailed together pretty good. But I guess we'll just give her a shot here. And uh, this is gonna be tricky. So I have to cut these exactly an inch and a half, and then we're gonna have to remeasure them.
Okay, so that went pretty good. I think I got them all good straight here. Um, that was very tricky. Get her good. But these nails are longer than I realized, which isn't good. But luckily, I have the angle grinder in my truck. So I'm totally gonna send them through. So you see, I cut as much as I can. Oh, I just grind her against the nails. I do, I do not give a fuck. So, I wanna. You know, oh fuck, I nearly cut through it with the chainsaw, should I? <laughs> That would be the end of it, I tell you what. See, a couple of these, I, this one and that far one, I haven't come in quite perfectly straight, so I'm gonna have to smooth that out with a, with a saw afterwards. On the angle grinder and cut the bottom and top in a second here. And then I can drive the top plate. I'm gonna have to cut her off here. It's gonna be a prick to get this piece here that overlaps. And then, uh, oh fuck. This is a deadly, this isn't a fun job. Okay, so I pulled off the zip cut and the blade was kind of broken. It's kind of from being hauled around the truck. I'm not gonna piss around with a shady zip cut blade, I'll tell you that much. But uh, this set of pliers here is working pretty good. Cut these nails out. I don't even have to get them all that nice. Uh, like I just got to cut them off. I can bend them over and then uh, drive this down and pound them flush, I guess. That's all I'll have to do there. So, I gotta be damn careful. This is, Can you see right here? The end of the boomer? I totally smoked myself in the eye with it. I got up, bam, right in the head. And uh, I bent the leg on that tripod again. So it's Good thing we bought the same tripod because I'm just going to tear the leg off the old one. So this wall is going to pull over real easy now. In fact, she already has pretty good there. Yeah, I'm down close to being straight there. Um, you see, I got her cut right. She's, she's loose there. I cut her off. Now I got to drive this old top plate through and it'll be loads of fun. So we start to have to be a little bit careful here because it's a bit dicey at the moment. She's going slow and steady here. I need a bigger hammer, but I don't have a bigger one. All these are nailed in here, so with the paneling on the outside, so this should stay straight. But they're probably also nailed into this top plate here, which is just great. Uh, it's nailed to the paneling, give me shit. And I better not hit my, like I was gonna have a hell of a shiner here tomorrow. This swole up pretty good. It's like right in the socket, I thought it'd go blind there for a second. This is not too pretty good. See, so yeah, I us get her good now if I cut her, you know, between each side works good. That saw is gonna fucking light the fucking fire here by Luxembourg. She's just smoking. These nails don't want to clear here. So I'm just going to cut them. So we'll get that out of the road. Okay. This one should come right out. Eh? See, that's that's her problem there. Better not fall over here. Yeah, I'm gonna pull, be able to pull that straight, no problem. Okay, so this is all going real good here. We've pulled this out here, so we should be able to nail this in. Not quite, but if I can get that flush, then these three will pull straight, like that one and this one are straight already, so. Okay, so my new skill saw, I haven't even used it yet. 
It's uh, cordless with a six and a half inch blade on there. And uh, it uses my Makita batteries I have for my drill. Now I have one functioning battery. So if a, a drill kit went on sale, I'd like to buy, uh, get some more batteries. And yeah, so I'm pretty well strapped. Like I have a, I have a half inch impact, impact driver, a drill that doesn't work. And then I also have my old Makita drill that uses different batteries. And uh, that's like, that's a proper drill and uh, it works good too. That was the first drill I ever owned. It's been a good one. The one battery shit the bed, but otherwise it's pretty good. But oh, uh, Makita has treated me decent. That old drill I think was better than this new stuff. So um, this is my first cut with her. Now I had that old Black & Decker one. I think I only paid 50 bucks for it, 40 bucks. I can't remember. And it worked great. Built everything here with it. It was a beauty. But uh, it's a real pain to have to fire up the generator all the time. And then I can't hear for bears and stuff. And uh, all of a sudden your fuel cost adds up when you're running the generator. Like when I put all that side, like I just had it running full bore because I was constantly cutting. You know, this one, no cord, no fuel, no noise. And uh, you can just rip with it, take it anywhere. You don't have to drag cord around. So I think it's deadly useful. But before I get too far ahead of myself, I better make a cut here and see how she does. Yeah, that cuts real nice. I was a little, yeah, that cut beautifully. Like I was through there in no time flat. It's just spruce, but that worked real good. I was I'm not, yeah, that's a beauty. I'm happy with that. See how long this battery lasts. None of those batteries are good, but to be fair, like I use them a hell of a lot. And to buy the batteries alone for the drill is just stupid because they're so expensive. I've seen some Chinese knockoff ones on Amazon, but I'm not too sure about that. And uh, yeah, I think the way to go is to buy them drill kits on sale and you get two free batteries and the drills with it anyway, or maybe a different tool. You know, I do. I could use another proper drill and then I'd have two impact drivers, I guess, but that's no rush. I should be able to make out all right just with one battery here. I imagine it doesn't use too much just to make the odd cut. And uh, I'm just really doing everything as cheap as I can here. Get it ready for winter. So let's get this put in here. So, perfect. Now the trick of this is to be getting it lined up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nail in my straight boards here, or my straight studs, sorry. See, I put in the bottom first because it makes it easy to nail it in. And then those, these are all toenails anyway. Okay, so I've actually got her perfectly straight here. Now, see, we're just gonna eclipse her here. No, can you even see too well? You know, she's perfect. Well, not, not perfect, surely to goodness. I might actually even have this center pulled out a tad far. Let me see here. See, that's, that's too much there. I think I only need about, see, fuck. I'm gonna drop this one, one here. Oh, tripod, a ladder, see, fuck off. Yeah, I do have it one too far, I think. I think that's about perfect. Let's look again here. Oh yeah, that's as close to perfect we're ever gonna see. See, we can also look on the back here. I've seen a bit of a bow tour the last time in the center. So, oh yeah, that's looking good. See, I don't even know why I tried to pull that straight. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, it is. See, I don't even know why I pulled to, tried to pull that straight when this was hooked up. See, now we can just straighten that out with ease. Might hook up the, the boomer just to make sure I get it mint. And then, uh, 
Yeah, let's we'll see how she goes. So, you see here, I've done a good job cutting these out. It's getting straight. They gotta come down a bit because it's sitting on the, like, uh, what's left of the old nails there. I might have to do something about that is in the road. But I'm just gonna drive them down with nails and that should work good. And uh, we're doing we're doing real nicely here. So I'm gonna nail this one in, let the camera charge up, and then we'll put the put the next one in, and that'll tell us how well we did. Well, let's see if she she lines up here. I don't know how we're gonna squeeze her all in here, actually. Okay, so you don't want to know how long that took me. It was tough. Looks like everything stayed nice and straight. It was tough to get her cleared in there because of all the shit. Like, cause it was coming in high on top there to fit, but I really wanted to notch the, uh, I really wanted to overlap the ends there. Cause this it holds the two walls together. So it's a tight fit here for sure it is. I got to pull this out. I chainsawed this one off cause it's in the road and it's a two by six. So it's going to throw off my insulation and everything. And uh, I'll probably just leave it. No, I got to pull it off, but it, it does have to come off because it'll throw off my insulation. And uh, I do want to, uh, I, I'm just going to chill with it for now though, because I want to put my windows here and I got to figure out the dimensions and stuff for that. I'll have to frame that out. Would be nice to find ones about that size, but so I'm not going to play around with that too bad. I'm just nailing it all together. See the bottom of that one's got to come up and uh, it's going to work real quite nice here. Anyway. Okay, so I got her nailed in there real good there now. She's she's a real beauty. Like uh, she's not going anywhere. Um, I'm I'm just gonna let this off here and hope that it doesn't shift too bad. Here's where the weight is. No, she's good. Didn't move a, a tad. So I'll get these all unhooked here and uh, pull my chain off, I guess. Now I gotta pull that, oh no, I gotta pull that top off there. I, uh, or pull it straight. Okay, so I might start on this door here. Now I'm not doing what I just did again. Cause this, this side's in good shape. You see here, it's just, it's just missing a piece here. It needs some reinforcement, but it's good otherwise. But I think our door framing is not gonna be ideal here. Where the, f where's my tape measure? Because I'm 81 inches from the bottom to the top. Um, I'm just trying to think here. It's not really going to be quite, quite the way it's supposed to be done here, to tell you the truth. But I don't want to go up into the gable end with the door frame and I don't want to cut the door. So, yeah, let's see here. Okay, so here's my door. I got it at a garage sale for $20. I couldn't have even built one for that cheap, but... Let's just see how we're looking here. So we're 31 and a half and change a bit. 31 and 5 eighths. Yeah. Where are we? Yeah. So I think there's slim chance this lines up. Yep. We're a couple inches too short now. I'm not sure. See, I'm pro. Jeez, I don't know what to do here. I'm going to be lifting this floor up. Like, there's going to be a step there. I don't know if that'll be in this video, but uh, I'm going to have to take these, take these studs out and stuff. Uh, that means I'm going to have to take both of these out. I do want it to be uh, straight with the, like, uh, right in the center, right? Eh? So, uh, how do I do this here? I'm going to have to, I guess, cut out some of this stuff here i'm gonna have to cut that out uh, oh it'll be fun cutting through this stuff with the pool and pro i tell you what but uh yeah we'll see how all that goes okay so it's going very well here i've pulled this side over by hand no worries tapped it a bit with a hammer i just tacked in this one because it's rotten on the window now I'm gonna have to pull this side because it's a real tight fit, bringing them over. And if I just, I just gotta pull her about an inch. If I line the outside of the two by four with uh, my two by six there, it's, uh, that's what we're looking for, right? 
it will uh, be perfectly straight. Okay, so I had uh, ripped out these end boards because they were pretty rotten. So, uh, I figured it'd be good to have something good on the bottom. I wouldn't believe it. These aren't gonna work. I need one by eight. Why did I buy one by sixes? I had the idea in my head that them were one by sixes. Well, fuck. Way she goes. I'll have a use for them, you know, maybe on window trim or something. So the height of my door is 79 inches. So I leave this bottom one. How am I looking here? 79, we come to 81. About two inches there that I can figure out. I'm gonna have to rip all this stuff out. These ones too. Way she goes. I think some of these boards are are true two inches. Okay, so I found this board is the thickest out of all these boards I was gonna put on the floor there. Now that'll be that's just about two inches, but once we butt them up, see what I'm gonna do here is cut these two. Cut these two out. I gotta take off the braces here and I better haul some of this shit out of here before I put one in my foot. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is uh, take out these studs and then find dead center and then go each way as far as I need to. We'll put two studs either side and then I'm gonna run one from uh, and then on the top I'm gonna nail it together and go all the way and that'll be the top of my door and it'll brace this stuff up with that two inch lumber. It should be pretty good. It's not ideal. See, ideally you'd run them, you'd run them vertically there on your header, but I do not want to cut into the, do not want to cut into the, the into the gable end of her. And that's not going to go anywhere. Well, that is most definitely a problem. Believe you me, you do not want to see the state of this chain right now. I've just been putting her through all the nails. I, th I, th I was nearly done with it though, I think. So, anyway, I, I'm just ripping these right out of here now. Oh, fuck, they're all nailed in there. They're all nailed in there. I'm gonna have to pry that out, but I gotta cut it anyway, so I'm not sure. Like, you wouldn't believe the stupid shit I'm doing today. <laughs> Christ almighty, boy. I can just cut that right out, but I don't have a saw fuck. God damn, that's a piece of shit. This chainsaw here. Can't wait to fucking throw it away. You're nearly lighting the place on fire running this saw. Just heats right the fuck up. That's still burning from last night, if you can believe that. You can see how the papers act in there. Like, that's crazy. I, d I do need to clean out this stove. That's for sure, there's quite a bit of ashes. Like, look, she's smoking. You wouldn't believe it. It's uh, It was a beauty day today. But uh, it's going to cool off here real quick. And then uh, it gets pretty chilly. These shakes just burn beautifully. Get her to go tomorrow. I need her. And then, uh, yeah. And uh, I've never had a clumsier day in my life. I just beat the shit out of myself today. You see my eye there, she's swelling up pretty good. I don't know. You can see it's kind of turning pretty fucking red there now. Can you see it? It's brutal. I don't know how I managed to do this. So I was like bent over fucking picking something up. I got up, wow. Right into the socket. It's giving me quite a headache too. I just, oh, 
It's pitiful. Real pitiful. Yeah, not the best day. It took a while to get that wall straightened out and figured out there, but got her good now, so I was happy about that. And, uh, yeah, we'll have lots to do there on, uh, the door framing and putting that door in. I just, I don't really like putting the doors in it. I'm not patient enough for that finicky shit. But... Okay. Yeah, you see how she goes here beautifully. So, so I'm just going to have some bacon and eggs here. Let's see, I'm changing it up. I'm using this new knife or this other one here. See, I got my fancy trap on the inline stamp on that one. She's a real beauty. So changing it up a bit here. Okay. So This one here works nice to cook bacon. Oh fuck. Because you can lay them out nice here, or pretty nice. So we'll get all these put up. No, it works better if we lay them the other way, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. So we'll get these all set up here. Now, I made a real bonehead move here and forgot to pick up ketchup. So we're going to be a little bit shit up here tonight. Okay, so we'll set that on the wood stove here. Okay, now we will have some eggs as well and lots and lots of them boys because I am some hungry I'm just going for eight here oh wow I did great on that one and then oh you guys know the routine by now you just want to layer on thick and then hit her with the margin and hit her hard with the margin too Oh yeah, oh that's that's pretty liberal there. They don't like it, Curry Boy, but I do it anyway. <laughs> oh she's coming along just beautifully. You see you just slow cook her along there. Best bacon you'll ever have right there. Okay, I also got this here new chain put on the uh or it's not a new chain, it's the chain that was on it before and both these chains are in very bad shape. And the other one, you probably fix it, but it's so badly, pooch. You see the curve in the tip of this bar? Now, I've certainly not greased this sprocket as regularly as, as I should, but there's no way. Like, it doesn't oil, right? So, it's, it's like, I just got to squeeze this much more life out of her, and that'll be it. So, I'm really pushing my luck here. We're nearly done. Man, that's some gorgeous bacon there. I'm losing bacon grease all over the floor. The dog will love that. Beauty moon outside here tonight, eh? She's a real beauty. This is harvest moon. It's pretty dark outside here tonight. That's beautiful. I hear the wolves. They're all they're all around here this year. I got them for days. So I'm getting the power arms ready to go. See, after I did that video cooking in the dark and whatnot, and I got a hundred comments to get a yard light. Uh, so I have this little one here, and you, she shines over here, and you can see good. You actually see much better than Lux, because the camera, she don't like to pick it up, but you can see just plenty good out and about. And uh, you can't see where the fuck that way, though. Wouldn't be nice to put some yard lights here around, you know? I don't much care for being out in the dark with the bears, but once they fuck off here in, you know, a month's time or so, that'll be much better. You rip around in the dark, not a worry in the world. Just the wolves, but they're easy. Oh, would you just look at that? See, I cooked her slow, so she doesn't even look cooked, but she is cooked, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, what a feast this is going to be. Uh, check this out. Oh, she's beauty, boys. 
So I'm gonna eat this. Now I just got no ketchup on there today. It's too damn bad, but um, it's no worries. I'm gonna save the little bit I have left there for breakfast sausage tomorrow. Oh yeah, she's gonna be beauty. Like just look at how perfectly cooked that is. Yeah, so we'll keep plugging away at her here, you know, happy with how everything's going, you know, and the whole workshop deal, you know, it's going to only cost me a fraction of what it would to build something, and like, especially considering the price of lumber, so, and uh, we're going to rig her up here, just get her functional for this winter, because I got to get to other things here real quick, and then, uh, might play around with it as a project later on, we'll see how it goes. But I imagine you get a few good years use out of it there for not too much. So it'll be right on. So uh, we keep giving her. Tomorrow she get that door put in and uh, go from there I guess. It should should all go there pretty good. And uh, yeah once we get in that in then we'll do the floor the next day or get a start on that today we'll see. Or tomorrow sorry and then yeah. Anyway guys thanks for watching. Well, another day, another dollar here. Chickens are genshin around, well, kind of, not really. They like to hang out inside. Got her grazed down pretty good. She's a beauty day. Like, an absolutely, like, just perfect. So we're happy we hold on to this kind of weather as long as we can. Now, I've tore out this door framing here with the chainsaw. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just getting her figured here. I do want it right, right centered up. That's why I tore out both studs. Be nice to have just pristine quality studs there on our door frame as well. Now, my door is 31 and 5 8 inches, so I got to give myself a quarter inch too long there on the width there, so it'll give us the clearance we need to close the door. So uh, the door is 31 and 5 8, so I'm going to frame her out here at 31 and 7 8. So I marked dead center there and came out 15 and 15 16 either side and now we'll do the same here when we put her kind of header up there <laughs> so so we're gonna do that right now and i'm gonna use this one because she's a true two incher that's a th that's a real thick board there and it's gonna make my measurements line up just perfect if i use that one and then give me the perfect height you know won't have to do anything there and that'll be you know good and solid okay so i need this one 60 inches here and uh, kind of have a pretty good idea what I'm going to do here in my head. So, anyways, we'll go, yeah, so five feet here. This is a solid board. It's going to be a real test for my new skill saw. She's a beauty. Yeah, we might be. Yeah, let's see if she'll cut through her here. Yeah, she's pretty solid. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, she cut through that, no worries. She went real good. I'm still not handling it too good. I gotta get used to it a bit. But okay, so this is our header. You see she's proper, proper thickness on her. But it's too wide, eh? This is a two by eight. A true two by eight. So we gotta come, or, come down here to five and a half inches. So we'll have to rip her down the center here. Ah. Discard this one. Now we need 
That's a nice straight one. So it will. Oh shit. So I got a nice straight two by six here and I guess I could have just done this to begin with. Cause all I gotta do is line the edges up here. <laughs> oh well, away she goes. So that's good there. So, we're going to have to cut that out now. So, we have the right thickness, so we're flush with our frame in there. Okay. That's pretty thick. It did pretty good there. That's beautifully straight. Let's see, now we got ourselves a two by six here. That's gonna work just great. Look how solid that is. Okay. Now we'll come back to that in a second, but we gotta cut all our two by sixes to length here for our door framing. So I've got them marked here at 79. Yeah, that cuts real nice. I quite like it. Okay, so we just got to get all our measurements made here. So uh, make sure we got this good here. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so I'll mark dead center, which is 30 inches. We'll get that lined up here. It's raining a bit here today as well. So there's a 30. Now we've got to come 15, 16 out it either side, and that's our inside measurement. So we'll get this here lined up. Okay. Now we'll keep that just beautiful. Now I want to pick out my nicest two by sixes, they have to be perfectly straight. We'll get these lined up here. I want the straightest ones I can find here. Then we'll use our other two on the other side. These are all quite nice though, so not too bad of worries there. Yeah, okay, that's looking good there. Let's just grab my hammer here these in and uh, we'll nail the tops of these while we can we're gonna have to toenail the bottom of it but that's no worry okay so we'll get her lined up here and I don't know about you but I'd rather have a little bit too big of a gap than not being able to get the door closed so that's what we'll do here just go a tad on the inside of my line there, it'll be beautiful. Okay. But worst case Ontario, you break out the pool and pro and it'll close, I tell you what. I the shit out of that one. Now we'll do the same on the other side here in a second. But uh, I just want to get this all situated here to begin with. So I'll nail my second one here right right against the next one so it makes it real easy to line up here now i want to get these tops nailed before i put them in otherwise i'll have to toenail them and i don't want to do that if i don't have to so now what i want to do here is just uh nail these two together now i can do this later on I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, so I'll just put a couple and then we'll we'll finish that off here later on. It's maybe a tad too big, but it's good. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's something about it tall, just a little. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. It's just, I might be a little bit long on the outside is actually my issue. Yeah, it is. See, I just got this a tad long is what's giving me, but it's no problem. Well, I think we're looking pretty good here. You know, that's getting solid. I'd rather be a little snug than than too short, that's for sure. Okay, hey, well, pardon me, Todd. I don't think the lighting's all that great here. But, uh, we should be good to go there. I need 79. Oh, I'm a little tight. You know, that should be about perfect, actually. Let's see. We want about an eighth of an inch on height. Now you need about a quarter so you can swing that door around. Now we're gonna have to cut all this out. But I've got this perfectly lined up on my marks now here. Just a little tad bit extra for safety here. So I'm just gonna tack these in. Now when I'm toe nailing these, I've got to be careful that it doesn't shift while I'm nailing it. Got a whole bag of nails here. These are all three inch for, uh, spiral spikes. I like using the three inch because I can, you know, nail these in and then also the uh, nail two boards together and it's the perfect dimension. And then you're not, uh, and then it's just one nail for all purposes. So, you can see what I've done here. I'm gonna toenail these bottoms in here first thing I do. Make sure they're secure and not moving anywhere. Okay, this is just beautiful here now. So she's getting straight and I've nailed the piss out of her up through here together and down from the top. Okay, so and then I nailed it into the, see I put it as far as I could go and then nailed her into the stud here and that supports my uh, top plate which is not all that great, you see there's a chunk out of her, but it's in good shape, otherwise other than that chunk, it's not rotten like that one is, and it'll have a lot to do with what direction it was facing when the last time it was parked, you know? So, uh, essentially, why I did this, like this is getting solid there now, I don't think there's gonna be a damn worry there for, you know, a long, long time at the very least. But, uh, you see, that's been sitting like that with a much shittier header for about, you know, 70 years or so. So, I don't think it's a worry at all. Like, she's good and solid there now. Uh, I don't think it, that's ever going to be an issue. Now, the reason I didn't do, a, like, a proper header with the, you know, run vertical is because uh, I didn't want to go up into the gable end. And I can't really go any further down. And I didn't want to cut the door. So, we just made it work there quick and easy. And that'll be good. So I see here, like what I just cut off my, um, what I just cut off my, uh, these, these ones here, are just gonna work good here. I can brace these horizontally because these might still even flex just a tad when you're swinging that door. So I guess I got four of them so I can put, you know, two either side, just cut them like this. And, uh, you know, I'm not gonna do anything with them anyways. Doing well here. Now, uh, I'm just eyeballing these to tell you the truth. This one is a tad too short. I had to shave this because uh, I was a bit, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna push and pull this door frame any, surely. Otherwise, like if it's any tighter or any looser than that, you're gonna shift that door frame and we do not want that. You know, if we're pushing it out or pulling it in, we're gonna have troubles. So I'm just eyeballing them. Because it's not all that particular at all. So we're gonna have to cut all this flush, which will be a bit tricky, but I'm gonna have to, all this, metal siding will come off one day it's not anytime soon but i'm actually kind of glad it's on there for the time being 
because it seals up a lot of the cracks and mice can get in and get into the insulation and stuff. So, for the time being, I'm just going to bend it over. See here, uh, I just need to get the saw in here to cut her flush. Be a tad tricky, but we'll see how we make out here. Okay, that, so that all went good. It works nice if you angle that saw out, you know, you can reach, get a right flush. I should be good there all the way around. I'm maybe just a tad close on this side. I don't know which side my hinges are going on, but either way, I just hop on the saw again if it's an issue, but yeah, so I, I won't nail any of this in here quite yet, I guess, because if I do have to come back to her, I didn't want to chew up the framing any, so I didn't see she's just beauty right on. Okay, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's see if our door will fit. Not with the latch. Oh fuck, I'm cutting her a little close. I might not just be all that perfectly straight here. Hey, fuck off, would you? Put a door, a door frame or jam around her. But I'm not gonna do that. Oh fuck off with the rain. I am cutting her a tad close. See it's once you get her on the hinges it does a lot better. But uh it should be good. I think I'm alright here. Um see it's just it's kinda wedging itself in there and whatnot, but Yeah, I, I should be able to make it work. Okay, so I just marked the tops of these hinges where they need to go. Okay, so yeah, we got to put the pin on the top here, surely. Now, uh, I want this to swing out, out there, so what I'm just going to do here. Oh, I hate doing this. Yeah, that'll be that'll work pretty good for us. So I'm just gonna drive the pin out of this hinge here. And separate the hinges. So that makes it easier for us. Now this is a side we gotta trace out here. So because we gotta chisel these so they're flush. Okay, so this is this is this is where everything starts to get tricky here. And I am I'm not patient enough for this this stuff. So I want it flush with the that's not great. So it looks like I'm giving myself a little room for error here, but no, there's really not that much. Oh, fuck. A sharp chisel makes this job a lot easier, and this is not a sharp chisel. See, she just beat to shit. So, we want to just go on the outside of our, of our trace out here. Uh. 
Okay, so we just go around the outside there and then we just want to take her off until she sits just right flush in there, right? Okay, so that's right perfect there. See, we're right flush along the edges, just beautifully. Now, these are four inch hinges because that's what was on the door. See, they're already chiseled out. We just gotta put screws through them. So that's all good. We just got one more left here. We're already done on the bottom there. And then we'll see if we can't get this door swinging. <laughs> Might be a, we'll see how she goes anyway. This rain is getting to be a tad bit annoying. Okay, so now it's time to put in our hinges. So they send you puny screws, don't use them. See, these are nice, good ones. I have longer ones of these too, but I don't have a drill to pre-drill them and I'll just split shit. So I'll just put these in there, they're good ones. So I just put two in here to begin with. And then I guess my doors are pre-drilled, so, or my door, sorry. This isn't the right size drill bit. She's a no-go. Fuck. Okay, well, I thought I had some better ones. I guess I'll just put these little ones in for now. I think they sit flush better. Yeah, they sit flush better. I need to, uh, three inch ones for these would be perfect. I just don't have any here. So this will work. And then uh, we can replace them with three and a half. Come, come time here. Fuck. Here's a fun part. Good. Going good, real good. I'm nearly there. That's about all she wrote for that. <laughs> This is nearly start the countryside on fire here. She sees right up on me. Piece of shit. <laughs> I just nearly got her done now. Oh, fuck, I better. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty good. Uh, just needs a tad there. <laughs> I just, I've hardly been at this here a second, boys. It's been going miraculously well here. But the fucking thing is. Yeah, like I'm good there. Like this is exactly how I want my door, but there's just a little too much resistance there. Right now for my liking, oh, she's a beauty. So surely to God, I've done a great portion of, so surely to God, I've done a lot of dumb shit over the years. <laughs> and a great portion of it has been in this video. Like, fuck sakes, this is getting embarrassing here. So I had the edges out backwards on the door, so they were binding. And I didn't even realize. It took me too long to realize. And now I've been pissing around with these fucking batteries. Like sometimes the one will charge, Sometimes the other one will charge. I think the battery charger might be all that's pooch, but I've been pissing around with that. So you see here, it's actually perfect. <laughs> it's it's really quite nice there. See this this is backwards, so we're actually like it's it's sliding just beautifully there. Maybe could take just a tad off the bottom there, but. See, I got a pretty good crack there. It's gonna put some um, weather stripping on there. You see, I got a, a nice crack on the top, not too much. I do have a fair share on the outside, but shouldn't be any worry. Now, yeah, it looks like I did not too bad there. I, I, this actually all went really well, except for fucking up the hinges. It took me no time to, to, to tear them out once I got the drill either, because I just, you know, unbolted them. Pulled the pin, bolted it, didn't have to take the door off and fight to get it on there again. So 
what I was going to do, she locks from the inside, I guess. But I'm going to have to take out this beauty and uh, switch this around the other way. And then, uh, like, just the latch here. And uh, I don't think I have a strike plate. You see, I've it's done a good job there of marking where it needs to go. You can just drill her in there. And that will serve as our latch for the door. You know, you slam it, and it will shut her. And we can lock it with a deadbolt if we place there. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how all that goes. But uh, looking pretty darn good here, guys. She's a beauty. I'm loving this door. You know, it, it did really all go very nicely. I, I shaved her a tad, but I don't even know if I particularly had to. Could have lifted it up a bit. Was too lazy to do that. Cleaned her with a chainsaw there for a second, but she's just a beauty. 20 bucks for that door. I couldn't have built it for that much, especially the lumber prices the way they are. Oh yeah, she's a beauty. So I'll switch this door handle around and uh, I'll go get a hole saw there. And uh, okay, so I'm starting to wonder here because this has a lock on it, right? And if I don't have a key for this lock, I damn well know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna lock myself out some way or another, I'll manage to do it. So I maybe should just chill out with that for a second. Cause it's only about 20 bucks for a new one of these. Okay, well, she's doing just great here. See, I nailed this all in. It's anything but pretty. But I, I, I got her nailed up, you see. I still got some cracks there. Hit her with the spray foam for now. Just not quite yet. See, she's just a beauty. Like, our framing is just immaculate. That's a stretch, but... Anyway, what else do I got to do here? So I was working on re-nailing on the gables. You see all the sunlight. I have to hit her with the spray foam. She'll be a beauty. Uh, I got, I'm gonna cut this one out because I'm gonna raise the floor probably five and a half inches with what I'm doing here tomorrow and next video. But uh, I should probably cut this out because I'm gonna be smoking my head on her. I got all kinds of headroom, so I'm not worried about that. Okay. So this side is particularly bad. Oh, that's pretty rank angle for my ladder, but... Um, Particularly bad because this was bowed right out before we fixed her there. So uh, you see this, it just all needs to be nailed back in here. So I'm currently working on getting this sprocket freed up. You wouldn't believe how I had to beat on her there to get her to go. Because I want to cut this beam out. And I'm gonna need it on the on the window framing as well. I grease this thing. It's just so it gets so damn hot and it warps over. I think it might have just cinched her off there. So I'm gonna pr I kind of pried it open, eh? This is not good practice, by the way. She is so fucking warped. <laughs> but I'm still gonna send it. Oh, fuck off. Just trying to pry her open a bit. <laughs> it's like, it's just, just rank, boys. <laughs> this is some serious shit, I tell you what. It's gonna work, though. Oh, I got her spinning there now, boys. Oh, yeah. She's gonna go. She's gonna go, boys, I tell you what. See, we'll see what happens here. I might have to fire her up right quick. Fuck, this is gonna be dangerous. Cause that's looser than shit. Okay, I'll tighten it up a tad. I really wanna cut this thing out here. I don't like this, it's probably gonna come off here. She's not much power there because there's so much, there's so much force. Okay, I gotta get. 
This is a trap lines and inline special this year. I want that pretty fucking tight because she loves to come off like. So even even with this bar like this, can you can you see it? I'll still get comments that say if your saw is not cutting straight, it's not sharpened properly. Well, when your bar is going fucking 20 degrees, well, what do you think's gonna happen? Oh, come on. Fuck. Look, I just started a fire. fucking short length. I'm gonna throw this fucking saw in a slough. Uh, it's just a piece of shit. You know, I'm gonna get this fucking beam off then. Well shit, I still need this brick. I right, see if I can drill her out there and put that old bar on. Holy, I fucking know better than that. Put that old bar on there, but see she's stripped out. I'd have to drill her. Fucking a conundrum we have here. I got a new broom. I had uh, snapped the handle off the old one I had and had just been using it like just this and had to lean over. So this is a real asset. It was $10. Well, got it all cleaned up here. Staying ahead of the mess on this one. Oh, except for this one. There she be. So got her cleaned out just beautifully. Now, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow here. I got to think about this floor, but this is beautiful to get this door in and uh, she's working just cherry. That's perfect. Like, look at, I over, I overextended it there, Tad. See, she's just, just beautiful. So I'm going to cinch that in there so she don't blow around all night, but this project is going exceptionally well. Well, I'm just having dinner here. I got these beauty breakfast sausages. Now I had a real predicament because there's 10 in there and I was gonna split them five each meal, but that's not enough. So I put all 10 in there and uh, it's gonna be a challenge. There's no there's no two ways about it. And then I got craft dinner over here as well. She's good stuff. I go through lots of it, eh? But uh, yeah, it, it's gonna be, oh, this is. This. I managed to survive dinner there, but just barely. Well, not quite. I did have to give the doggy one as well there because I've I've overeaten. It, it's tragic. That's going good here, but we're in a hurry, so we're gonna get the floor put in. Got to figure out the windows, the wood stove, and then insulation will be a breeze. So once we get all that done, we'll really be set to go here, guys. And I need to put more solar power in this cabin because it's just not cutting it. It's starting to piss me off. Also gotta find a canoe and get that ready for trapping season. You gotta buy buy more trapping supplies and oh my goodness, it's just a it's just a train wreck. But we're giving her, we're having fun doing it. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope it wasn't too painful. Like I said, all the stupid shit I did in this one. But so yeah, we'll just keep giving her here, guys. We'll be hard out of there tomorrow and uh, get that done. And should it should be go good here. Everything's pretty well going right according to plan and. No complaints here, man. So thanks for watching, guys. There is a lot coming up here on the Trap Lines and Inline Show. I appreciate you all watching the videos and such. So thank you kindly.